Hello everyone, welcome to MS Pharma Tutor. In this video, I am going to tell you about partition coefficient. That what is partition coefficient? What is the formula for it, and why it is used? Like why do we need partition coefficient in our studies? So let's look at it quickly okay now uh, introducing partition coefficient it is basically the ratio of the concentration of organic and water phases aqueous phases uh, to see that how much amount of drug is distributed in these two phases okay how much amount if you are taking for example 20 mg of drug just a very basic example 20 mg of drug if you want to see how much amount of drug of these 20 mg of drug is getting dissolved in organic phase and in aqueous phase for that we need to do partition coefficient so this is the basic formula for it to determine once you get the partition coefficient to see if it is lipophilic more uh, more it has a lipophilic character or more it has a hydrophilic character so it is a very basic formula uh, co by cw okay and then co is basically the concentration of component or a drug in organic solvent that is co and cw is concentration of component of drug in aqueous or water solvent okay so this is the basic formula and here it is to remember that if you get k more than one so your drug is told to be lipophilic, which means your drug is getting dissolved in oil phase more than the water phase. So therefore you got your K more than one and which tells us that the drug is lipophilic. Okay. And if you find that your K is less than one, like 0 0.68 or 0 0.7 such you have got your k that is your partition coefficient k is the partition coefficient term okay so that drug is more towards the hydrophilic character okay so one can determine in which phase the drug is mostly dissolved in okay so this is basically what partition coefficient the role of partition coefficient you can note down is that it is mainly for or uh, you can determine absorption parameter with it and distribution parameter of the drug within the body can be determined then hydrophilicity and lipophilicity can be determined hydrophilicity and lipophilicity can be determined then uh, you can also determine the bioavailability, a very important term. You can also determine bioavailability of the drug. So these are the role of partition coefficient. You know, partition coefficient, which is denoted by K. Okay. So now let's look on one of the method uh, for separation, uh, also known as separation method or Partition coefficient is known as separation method and one of its uh, type to perform this separation method is shake flask method. This is shake flask method. Okay. Now let's understand what is shake flask, what is the procedure and how we determine co partition coefficient out of it. So for example, you have a drug, for example, like a before example are 20 mg of drug you have, a very basic example, okay. Then you take a beaker, uh, all this explanation is in, su is in super layman language, so don't take it literally, okay. So, so this is, uh, these are the two bakers for organic and one for water phase. So in organic phase, you put your 10 mg drug. In water phase, you put your 10 mg drug. And then you mix them in a separating funnel. So this is your separating funnel. Separating funnel. So you mix both these solution in separating funnel. You mix them vigorously. Okay. Then you make them stand for some time, 10 minutes, 30 minutes. So you can see at a point where you can see this separation happening. Then once you observe this separation, you need to remove the water phase. <coughs> and then you need to remove the 
organic phase and once you remove the water phase and organic phase you can determine its concentration okay the concentration is estimate uh, estimated and one can finalize the drug solubility whether it is more in water or more in organic okay so in this way you can see that uh, 10 mg either hai 10 mg either if it has dissolved properly okay in the mixture then only you can go further with the now uh, with the process then you can finalize that yes my drug is lipophilic uh, by partition coefficient formula once you get the concentration after the process you will achieve for both that is concentration of uh, concentration in oil phase concentration in water phase and once you achieve you will achieve one answer for a partition coefficient and in that you can determine if it is lipophilic or hydrophilic so the other methods for determination of partition coefficient apart from this uh, shake flask method is by hplc determination by using this instrument that is high performance liquid chromatography is by hplc determination or other electrochemical methods so in this way you can determine electrochemical so in this way you can determine uh, the separating of partition coefficient and you can determine in which phase the drug is highly dissolved in okay electrochemical method okay. now uh, once you have reached at this point this third part okay once you have reached here then how you will determine that how much concentration is present in this and this so uh, methods like titration titration can be used for determination of concentration in each phase and other uh, hp and other analytical instruments like hplc uv etc can also be used so if you have got what is partition coefficient what is the procedure etc for the same please like my channel if you are liking the videos that i am uh, coming up with share with other pharma birds and don't forget to subscribe i have also added my handles here social handles so please click like and thank you for watching thank you